Hi, this is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and this is a brief video about power utilization at home. You've probably noticed if you've ever seen an electric stove top that you have a, a dial that can turn up or turn down the amount of heat on the burner. Um, there are other heat related products like let's say a home uh, heater that you plug into the wall. It also has a similar dial but that does not change the amount of electricity actually being used at that time. That's just a thermostat. Um, and so to make a, a home heater use less heat, you might need to set it down to, let's say, 1,000 watts instead of the higher setting, 1,500 watts. Well, similarly, here's a device. Um, it's a home humidifier. I wanted to show you this, uh, and this one is from Homes. This uses uh, the steam method, okay, so it's going to be boiling water over here, and that steam slowly comes out. Now, there are other devices for home humidifying uh, that use a wicking method where water kind of soaks into a mesh uh, filter fabric-like device. Um, and that depends on uh, really the, the humidity level in the room being dry enough so it's gonna you know, pull that humidity out of the mesh wick filter. Um, there's a new line of humidifiers that use a, a non-replaceable filter. It's basically metal and instead of having a fabric-like wick in there, it has metal and then the water sort of drips down on the metal. But as you might imagine, um, that isn't quite as effective as the units that have the mesh. And in fact, if you look at the rating on those, actually compare them side by side, two identical units, one with the metal uh, you know, non-replaceable filter and the other one with the replaceable one, um, the mesh, the soft fabric-like mesh filters tend to uh, expel more humidity. Um, but even so, unless you get the larger units, it's hard to get a lot of humidity into the room. Well, one of the drawbacks to these, uh, what are in some respects more efficient um, humidifiers, is that when they're set on the high setting, they use quite a bit of electricity. I can show you here with this meter. It's using 345 watts, so that's like having uh, you know, let's say seven 50 watt light bulbs on in your house um, all the time. And, and I say all the time because this one doesn't have a, uh, a gauge to judge how much humidity there is in the air. It's not going to stop because it thinks there's enough humidity. It's just going to keep going. But by turning this down, if you have one of these with a, a low setting, it actually, I think, works a little better. It's not trying to push so much water into the air. And if we look at our um, gauge now, we can see that's at 172, 173 um, watts of power usage. Sorry about the glare there. And uh, anyway, 173 watts. So that considerably reduces how much electricity this device is using. And because the steaming method is so efficient, um, it'll go through you know, a container like this one in a relatively short period of time. The same amount of water to try to get that in your air with these other devices um, might take 24 hours, okay? So you use a little bit of less electricity per hour, let's say, but you're gonna have to run that thing 24 hours. Whereas with this, you can turn it on, let it boil that water, it goes into the air, and you're done. And so that may be more efficient. Other models that you could consider would be the mist, cool mist um, humidifiers. Uh, the only drawback with those is that sometimes they'll leave like a white powder on surfaces in the room. And if you go to wipe that white powder up, you see it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's kind of messy. And uh, who knows, maybe we're breathing that in as well, but it certainly is a nuisance. So even though those may use a little bit less electricity, uh, they do create this mess. And depending on what method is used for the cool mist humidifier, um, some of them have a very fine mist. Others have a not so fine mist that tends to get on things and, and make messes. So it kind of seems like the uh, humidifiers like this one that use the heat um, tend to work best and most efficient. But uh, the, the main interest is this. If you take a look at the wattage used, that's what you really want to find out is how many watts is your device using. And often the rating uh, provided by the manufacturer isn't accurate. So you really need to get one of these gauges. This one's called um, Kilowatt, and uh, Kilowatt P3. These are pretty inexpensive. I think uh, you could probably get one on Amazon from kind of $15 to $20, and it definitely pay for itself in terms of your awareness of what your appliances are using. So 
I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions or suggestions for more topics, let me know. Take care.